Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a different ways of using what we call representations. For example, in Top Solid, in your entities tree here, you have something called representations, and by default, the software gives you three a design representation, a detailed representation, and a simplified representation. Now, what you choose to do with these is entirely up to you. For example, you could create a detailed representation that shows everything including chamfers and fillets and full detail of the model. Then you could have a design representation that has some of those entities deactivated to simplify your design efforts. You could create a representation to specifically show the model in a special way. In this sample, I'm going to show you how to create a custom representation to use in draft to include a sketch entity in your drawing. For example, let's look at our sketches first. Ahead of time, I created a sketch with some text in it. And if I rotate this up and look at it, you can see the text says, include any text you like from a design document to a draft document by using representations. Here's how it works. I'm gonna to go to my representations folder and choose representation. This allows me to make a new one. And this new representation is gonna be with sketch, why not? Or with text or with whatever. You can name it whatever makes sense to you. Now I'm going to copy into this representation my solid model in its current state plus my sketch entity. Now you can see here I have with sketch and with my shape. My detailed representation is just my shape, for example, right now. I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to make a drawing of this. So I'll go to drafting. I'll say part A ANSI landscape. Why not? And by default, you can see there's no sketch present. But that's because this is projecting the detailed representation. How do you change that? Well, I can go right here and create a new set based on a different representation. For example, here you see detailed, that's the default. I'm gonna go with sketch, validate. And now what, watch what happens. When I rotate up, there's that text. Cool, so I can put my view there and maybe I'll have my front view like this, my side view like that. And now I have my text inside of my drawing. Maybe the only thing I want to do here, because it's a little bit big, is scale it back a little bit. Perfect. And like that, I've projected a sketch into my drawing. Now, you could project curves or anything that a sketch contains this way. It can be a handy tool to know about.